Hi, my name's Dan. I'm the internet sales manager for Encore Motor Cars down here in Sarasota, Florida. Just going to take a quick walk around this 2008 Volkswagen Rabbit. I'm going to put it on eBay and uh, wanted people to see what they were bidding on. The car is a trade-in that was traded here uh, from a private uh, couple that uh, decided they wanted to get something new. Uh, 2008 Volkswagen Rabbit and it is a uh, 2.5 five uh, inline five cylinder engine and it's uh, that's a tried and true engine with the uh, Audi and and the Volkswagen uh, manufacturers the, uh, it's an automatic it's got uh, air conditioning and it's got uh, all the essentials for someone that wants a good everyday car that uh, is a reliable car that's comfortable and has good fuel economy it's got 22 to 29 uh, miles per gallon rated and uh, it's in really good condition the best part about this car we usually don't keep cars um, that are this age and this value range because uh, most times they don't they're not nice enough for us to want to sell to our customer we're afraid it's going to hurt our reputation if we sell those kind of cars but this car is in really excellent condition take a look at the paint on the car all the way around I'm trying to just give you a, a, pictures are nice to see but I figure to get some close-ups of some of these areas in the front of the car there's no stone chips and uh, no dings dents or scratches anywhere around the body it's got a little bit of water on it from a condensation from overnight it's in the morning here in Florida and it's got a set of Michelin tires on there the tires are good probably at least uh, 60 or 70 percent tread left on those and uh, all the glass is in good condition wheels are all in good condition it's got a couple of little small little rubs on the wheel on the curb up here that's basically on that whole half of the edge it's been uh, scuffed but uh, presentable and usable and this side's got a smaller rub on this on the tire the wheel but uh, that's the worst part of the car I guess is the right front wheel on the car like I said the purpose of the video really is to show you the condition of the car and to tell you the whole story goods and bads um, interior is in good condition it's got uh, these were rated by the way four and a half out of five stars on a couple of the places I did when I was doing my research on this car and uh, a lot of good uh, remarks and reviews about the car for the money it's a great car uh, a little bit of wear on the door panel here this is a piece of cloth that comes around here and you can see it's a little loose here on the edge uh, nothing to worry about really for somebody that just wants to uh, enjoy the car uh, without having to spend any money on it it's not required I just wanted to point that out both the seats are in great condition uh, very little wear on the driver's seat and the bolster and the, and the landing area here on the base uh, center console is in nice condition no scratches or chips anywhere dash is good and there's no uh, check engine lights or any other lights staying on on the vehicle and uh, you can see the back seat area it's hard to see with all the light division here in the shadows and so forth but it's in really good shape uh, as far as the condition of that i'll go ahead and get out of the way for this big truck that's going by and uh, let's just see what's going on with the gauge cluster it's got 97,000 uh and 900 miles on it you can see that the speedometer is working these other lights on the side are all just regular green lights basically telling me that i should break to shift and put my seat belt on get that red light off on the dash uh, speakers are all sounding good in here the demographic of people that are looking at this maybe the younger crowd great car for somebody that's in school or somebody that is uh, price conscious about the kind of the, the money that has to go out to get the car but and and the money that's going to be required to keep the car around great car for them 97,000 miles not a lot of miles in this German engineering and uh, it runs and drives good I'm just gonna take it up the street we're gonna take a look at the running gear and the dash I turn my crazy uh, young people's music off no offense young people um, dashboard doesn't have any cracks on it uh, floors don't have any stains on the carpets it doesn't have any weird odor in here smoking or other odors and I'm just gonna get on it real, real hard right now. I'm gonna jam 
on the brakes and there's no vibration in the brakes, no pulling on the brakes and good strong power to get to the, uh, get down the street here. Uh, 177 uh, horsepower and about the same torque pounds in my research I found. There really isn't a lot of available information on the performance because this car is not a performance car. Uh, it's a good economy car and it's, you know, it's got the look that you know, the Volkswagens I remember have always been a, a young person's favorite uh, amongst the different brands. And uh, this car, uh, I think, is probably going to be no exception to that rule. Uh, I can't really say anything negative about the car, other than the wheels have a little damage on them. Not uh, anything to worry about as far as just functionality, because those uh, there doesn't feel like there's any vibration in those wheels, and uh, those tires are holding air. The car's been around here for about a week now, and it's, those tires aren't losing any air. I'm going to quickly uh, open up the back hatch and we'll check that area. And uh, I'll open up the engine compartment too so you can at least look in there. Well, there's no noises or anything to worry about. And then we'll wrap this up. It's got a set of weather mats back here. Nice to have. That's probably one of the reasons why the carpets don't have any stains on them. And. Take a look under this mat. And it's got a little pull here so that we can get under here. It's got the spare in there and the tray for storage. These uh, seats flip down, both of them, so you can lay them flat and uh, have some good cargo area back here. Um, really, the, there's no rust or anything on the you know 2008 2008 cars of Florida. You know, 1968 cars in Florida actually don't might have much rust on them, but the uh, the body on this car is sensational. You can see uh, just n nothing showing nowhere anywhere on this uh, car as far as the paint body. Any no attention required on that deal. Uh, 2.5, like I said, inline five-cylinder engine. You can see that the belts are fairly new down in here. Uh, looks like it's really nice and clean. Take a look down here at all the metal parts. Those are, that's the beauty of buying cars from down here in Florida. The, the, the corrosion is just next to nothing. This car has been in the garage. It's obvious that it has been. And it's been uh, not been uh, exposed to any kind of sand or, or you know, uh, salt or any of that kind of stuff. You can tell just by looking uh, at the general condition all the way around the car. It's a two-owner car. The car uh, I forget where it was before it came to Florida, but it's been in Florida for a long, long time. Um, two on a clean Carfax, and it looks like, uh, I think the car was in Tampa to begin with, then it went to Spring Hill, Florida, which is just north of Tampa, Florida, and it was serviced at a, a, a Volkswagen specialist in Tampa, and you can see the oil changes and everything were um, notated on the Carfax. And uh, I really don't have anything else to say about it. Uh, if you have any questions about it, my, like I said, my name's Dan. My phone number, my cell phone number is 941-915-7637. Please give me a call at Encore Motor Cars down here in Sarasota, Florida. Thanks for watching.